Hello, I'm Joe Wren. Convenience store owner Jay Ricker says he's been targeted by the General Assembly in proposed legislation on alcohol carryout permits. At issue are restaurant permits Rickers was able to secure at two convenience stores. Those permits allow them to sell cold beer and hard liquor for carryout, previously the sole right of liquor stores and restaurants. Proposed legislative language would create a new requirement for retailers to get carryout permits. At least 60% of their alcohol sales must be from on-site consumption. The proposed legislation language must still be approved by both chambers. The City of Bloomington plans to regulate the use of electronic smoking devices or e-cigarettes in much the same way it does regular cigarettes. City Council voted last night to amend the current city smoking ordinance to include e-cigarettes. Two amendments allow vaping inside of shops that sell electronic smoking devices, and the second requires updated no smoking signs that include e-cigarette icons. And Howard County Commissioners approved a contract to repair the Howard County Historical Society's Cyberling Mansion. The mansion was originally built in 1890 for the Cyberling family during the industrial gas boom in Indiana. Today it serves as a major tourism attraction in Kokomo. Executive Director of the Howard County Historical Society, Dave Broman, says they've been repairing the roofs since before his involvement in 1990. And now here's a quick check of the forecast. A 70% chance of showers and thunderstorms continue, lows down to 50, and more rain in the five-day forecast. Tomorrow, a 50% chance of rain, 64, a bit cooler on Saturday, 54, then clearing out on Sunday. A bit warmer, highs up to 63, 69 degrees, partly cloudy by Monday. We have more news on our website at WTIUnews.org.